What's in a name? That depends on who you ask. The University of Denver is now at the center of a debate about its nickname, the Pioneers. Now, for years, Indian mascots and nicknames have been the subject of many heated discussions. And now some Native American groups like to see DU dump the Pioneer. Tonight, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is going 360 on the DU Pioneers and the arguments for and against its future. On college campuses, in the big leagues, and at public high schools, offensive mascots have been making headlines for decades. Should schools here in Colorado be allowed to use Native American mascots? Now, DU finds itself embroiled in this debate, as some feel the Pioneer's nickname must go. We feel that the link between alumni and the university is at risk. It's not blaming anybody for their past. Let's go 360, starting with you, by looking at a variety of controversial mascots and nicknames. Do you find any of these mascots offensive? In certain ways, I find them all offensive. There's no right answer here. Some of the depictions of like Native Americans are a little, you know, stereotypical. They're caricatures, obviously. Some of them are very culturally insensitive. I'm not so keen on a cultural appropriation. I don't really find any of them offensive? Do I find them offensive? Yes, I do. While DU has phased out Boone the mascot, the Pioneer's nickname remains for now, even though some, like Native American Ernest House Jr., believe the Pioneer represents a dark chapter in settling the West, including the University of Denver. Who was it founded by? Territorial Governor John Evans, who clearly was culpable of being involved with the Sand Creek Massacre, one of the deadliest, if not the most horrific massacres that the United States has seen. House runs the Keystone Policy Center and believes celebrating pioneers is insensitive. We're talking about federal policies that were created, the Homestead Act to forcibly remove Native Americans uh, off of our land. Right. And there are certainly those of you who agree. The Whoa. pioneer is a murderer, definitely offensive. The university said in a statement to Denver 7 that it's a very important and complex issue for us and we're not taking the concerns of our community lightly. While it has not implemented any policy or practice to eliminate the pioneer nickname, it has made some changes to a couple of events. And that's what's concerning to alumni groups like Let's Go DU. Changes made behind closed doors to the Pioneer Spirit Awards and the Pioneer Passage event, as both were recently stripped by administrators of the Pioneer name. If you want to change the name from Pioneers to something else, be open and honest about it. Allow those of us who want to keep the Pioneer name, allow us to talk about it. Nick Tremaroli runs the alumni blog Let's Go DU, which has seen daily readership triple since the pioneer controversy surfaced. We have a great passion for DU. You know, we, we all had great experiences at DU. He says administrators are making all the decisions without consulting alumni. Let's not forget the word pioneer is a verb. It's the first to be somewhere, to do something. Darius Smith with the Denver Anti-Discrimination Office says phasing out offensive imagery and names was good for schools like Stanford, Syracuse, and Illinois. When these schools made the transition, that, that actually um, funding increased in terms of alumni support. And that brings us back to the streets near DU where opinions vary widely. Debate is okay as long as everybody is open to other people's ideas. I haven't really thought about um, Notre Dame or the Celtics. No, I don't like the Celtics. I'm a Pistons fan myself. And if it doesn't hurt anybody to change it, and it hurts people to keep it, then why not change it? There should be a way to find some type of middle ground when it comes to you know, not offending a big group of people, still keeping some type of like school spirit. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.